With like every release of a MacBook, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering if it's good for programming. In this video, I will try to answer this question. Before I get into the video, I want to specify that this is the base model M2 Pro 14 inch MacBook Pro. The first step will be to run some Xcode programming test. I like testing Xcode because I have found that running apps on the Xcode simulator can cause some lag. Starting and running Xcode is a smooth experience and works without issues. As with my other MacBook for programming reviews, I ran an iOS project I made back in university in order to compare the build and run times. The 14 inch M2 Pro MacBook Pro built and run the project in only 13 seconds. The 13 inch M2 MacBook Pro ran it in 15 seconds for comparison. Next up, I cloned the Xcode benchmark project from GitHub as this test allows us to compare the results with other popular Apple computers. Before running the benchmark, it's important to follow the instructions by turning off the Wi-Fi, disabling all software running at startup, updating the battery settings, and rebooting the MacBook. With the MacBook plugged in, I can now run the test. The 14 inch M2 Pro MacBook ran the test in only 93 seconds. This is better than the 13 inch M2 MacBook Air and Pro, which ran it in 130 and 116 seconds respectively. It's also the same as the 14 inch M1 Max and M1 Pro, so keep this in mind if you're thinking of getting an M1 instead. As with most laptops, web development IDEs such as VS Code will run without issues on this powerful MacBook. Therefore, I wanted to run the speedometer browser benchmark which measures the responsiveness of web applications. This benchmark uses demo web applications to simulate user actions such as adding to-do items. The 14-inch M2 Pro MacBook Pro got a score of 364 runs per minute. In comparison, the 13-inch M2 MacBook Pro got a score of 348 runs per minute. This means that for web development you might not see a difference between the 13-inch M2 MacBook Pro and the new 14-inch M2 Pro MacBook Pro. Now onto some Python test. As usual, I like to start with the Python Mandelbrot algorithm as it stresses the CPU to test how powerful it is. The 14-inch M2 Pro MacBook Pro ran it in 1 minute and 9 seconds. This is significantly faster than the 13-inch M2 MacBook Pro, which ran it in 1 minute and 33 seconds. Next, I wanted to run the TensorFlow autoencoder. I set up the development environment using Anaconda and was ready to run the test. The autoencoder ran the 10 input images and it took the neural network only 26 seconds to reconstruct these images. In comparison, the 13-inch M2 MacBook Pro did it in 1 minute and 12 seconds. This is a very big difference. When it comes to SSD speeds, using the Blackmagic benchmarking app, I consistently got write speeds of around 3200 megabytes per second and read speeds of around 2800 megabytes per second. This is reportedly a little slower than the 14-inch M1 Pro and might be due to Apple using single SSD module similar to the M2 Air and M2 MacBook Pro. When it comes to programming, I know a lot of people like using multiple external monitors. Thankfully, the 14-inch M2 Pro MacBook Pro supports up to two external displays simultaneously, based on the resolution and refresh rate of each external display. If you haven't already, make sure to check out my other MacBook for programming videos if you're still unsure of which MacBook to get. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.